Welcome everyone. Today we will look at the must-have mods that decorate the first week of 2023. I have prepared mods that can be helpful to you, so I would appreciate it very much if you could watch it until the end without leaving the middle. So, let's begin. The first mod I will introduce to you is the Show Player in Menus mod. This mod is SKSC mod that rotates the camera around to face the player in menus. It's also a mod that feels like Oblivion. In fact, when you activate the menu in Oblivion, a character is created on the right side and you can rotate it, so does the Show Player in Menus mod. However, in the case of Oblivion, a separate character is created and displayed on the right side of the menu, but in the case of Show Player in Menus mod, the character active in the game appears on the menu in real time so that the character can be rotated dynamically. Since this function allows you to check the character's appearance 360 degrees when wearing equipment, it is a great mode that allows you to observe the character's equipment in detail without disabling the menu. Show Player in Menus is a mod consisting of a single ESP and one script. Not only that, this mod is said to be available for both SC and A players and is an amazing mod that can be used with Smooth Cam, True Directional Movement, and Skyrim Souls Re. Depending on the settings of the custom camera mode you are using, there may be a difference in the position where the character appears in the menu, so you may need to modify the settings for this. In MCM's Show Player in Menus, you can decide where you want your character to be when you activate the menu, and since you can toggle various options on and off, you can determine your character's position based on your camera settings. The Constructible Object Custom Keyword System improves the usability of the Constructible Object menu in Sky UI through an extensible keyword-based category system. While Sky UI made many improvements from the vanilla interface, the Constructible Object menu left much to be desired. The vanilla menu had 31 hard-coded categories, and Sky UI replaced these with its own 7 hard-coded categories, which would become very cluttered from having too many craftable items. This mod takes some inspiration from the vanilla categories, integrating a similar keyword-based system into the Sky UI menu design, and makes this system fully customizable and extensible. This means it can better support additional crafting types introduced by Creation Club and mods, as well as provide the same UI improvements to modded crafting stations. The menu is used by Blacksmith Forge, Tanning Rack, Smelter, Cooking Pot, Ethereum Forge, Grain Mill, Oven, Drafting Table, Carpenter's Workbench, Staff Enchanter, Mod Added Crafting Stations. Configurations are included for the Blacksmith Forge and Carpenter's Workbench for the Vanilla Game, Creation Club, and unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch. Initially, this mod was available for A and VR players, but now there is a patch available for SC players. In addition, there is a compatible mod that classifies weapons and armor, and there is also a patch for Nordic UI users, so it would be nice to refer to it. The third mod to introduce is Water Attack Redo. The Water Attack Redo allows Skyrim's humanoid actors to attack underwater. Not just the melee attack. Water Attack Redo can also use magic attacks and bow attacks. You can also attack underwater while werewolf, horse riding, or first person. Water Attack Redo also supports MCO. However, since the direction that MCO pursues itself is a method in which the lower body and upper body are fixed and matched when the actor attacks, it is made to attack in this form even underwater, which may be rather unnatural. The character's speed slows down when entering shallow water rather than swimming. I'm not sure if this is also a feature of this mod, but I'm assuming it's a feature of this mod. Water attack redo can be used with the jump attack and paraglider mods. 
but cannot be used with Loki's weight in water and sink or swim mods because of overlapping functionality. Currently, A player cannot use it because DAR does not support A, but if an A-only DAR appears, this mod may also be available. Simple Display Multiple Greatswords mod displays your second to last equipped greatsword, in addition to your last equipped one. This mod uses a simple script to add an additional display slot that will show an additional greatsword on your back. The second slot will be occupied by the second to last greatsword you had equipped as long as it is still in your inventory. It can display not only vanilla greatswords, but also greatswords added through mods. Through MCM, you can modify the equipment position of the greatsword, and you can also set it on off. It's a little disappointing that the physic effect doesn't apply to the equipment, but if you're a player who wants to display more of your usual greatsword, I recommend this mod. Dynamic Animation Replacer 32K mod doubles the number of motion files that can be used in DAR. Previously, the number of animations available in Tesnexus DAR is 16384. So you couldn't use more than 16384 DAR animations. However, this mod increases the number of animations available to 32768. This expansion of the number of available animations means that you will be able to use more DAR animation mods. If you are a player who has been using a lot of animations, but is having a hard time due to the number limit, please install this SKSE plugin once to manage more motion files. This mod adds animated ivy into farmhouses and stone walls. Base object swapper is required to use this mod, and this mod also provides compatibility patches for Nordic stone walls. Previously, ivy lacked vibrancy because there was no movement. But animated ivy adds animation to these plastic-like ivy, giving it more life. This animation shakes naturally without overdoing it and will help you immerse yourself in the game even more. The Let Your Hair Down mod gives players the ability to toggle between buns and downs. Select two types of hair through Show Rasa menu, designate Set Hair Up and Set Hair Down in MCM, and press the hotkey. It is to choose two types of hair, but the concept of the mode is to tie or untie the hair, so it is better to choose the tied hair and the untied hair among the two hairs that are somewhat similar. On MCM, you can save or load three hair profile you set for convenient use. You can choose to disable it during battle, or if you install an option file, you can also output animations when changing hair. Of course, you must decide which hair to choose before using it. Only hair is available and wigs do not work. Likewise, viewers who like the concept of tying or untying their hair are immersive, please try the Let Your Hair Down mod. With this, we learned about 7 must-have mods that decorate the first week of 2023. Thank you very much for watching the video till the end. And if you subscribe, like, and set notifications for my channel, it will be very helpful for the growth of the channel. See you next time.